How's it going? Back in with another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download apps onto the Kindle Fire. Okay? This is a quick uh, process, probably three or four step. What we're going to do is uh, we have our libraries right here. And you want to go to where it says apps. Tap on apps. And so on this main screen, what you're going to see are the apps that are already installed on your Kindle. Um, and so if you want to look for new apps, what you have to do is you have to go to where it says store, okay? Because right now all this is what's already on there. Um, so you can't look for new apps in here. You have to upper right corner, click on where it says store, and it takes you here. And now we're actually where we can look for new apps and find new cool stuff. So, um, for example, there's a, I'm going to tap in here. And I'm going to look for an app called Bejeweled. I'm going to go Bejeweled 2. And that is a not a free app. So I'm not going to download that one right now. <laughs> I'm going to be a little cheap today. Um, let's do this. I want to click on the back arrow. I want to go back to the main app page. And let's see here. There might be some free ones on the front here. So I'm going to check here first. This is the best place to look for free apps. It's right on the, the home uh, home screen here. And we do. Here we go. I'm going to download Fruit Ninja. I always wanted to play that game. So once you tap on the app, um, at the top, you're going to see it says free, save, or share. And so um, that's a better view a little bit right there. Uh, if the app is paid, then it will have like a dollar amount right there. And when you tap on it, um, it'll then say get app. Okay. Now that's a free app. Uh, one of the things you need to know is uh, to download apps, you do have to set up an Amazon uh, account. Even if it's free. Even if you want to download free stuff, you still have to have an Amazon account. Because in the event that you decide to get a paid app, um, you have to be able to pay for it basically. So they don't let you download anything until you have an Amazon account and the other reason for that is because all the apps that you download are saved in your Amazon cloud okay and so the benefit of that is when you let's say you have too many apps in your Kindle and you want to delete a couple if you delete it it's still there's a record in your Amazon account that you download that app at some point so if you wanted to get it back it's easy to just pull it up and say hey I bought this before I want to download it again and it's basically all linked together under your account. So if you don't have an Amazon account, you want to go on Amazon.com and set up one. Um, or there should be a way on the Kindle where you can set up your own account. And I'll probably show that in a separate video. But now that the app is downloaded, uh, this orange button right here, it'll say open. So we're going to click on, uh, oh, flipped it. Let's flip it back. Click on the orange button. It should say open. And... Now we are in uh, Fruit Ninja. That's a little loud. Got a little advertisements. I'm going to say no thanks. There we go. And now I am in the process of playing my Fruit. Uh, was it Fruit Ninja? I think that's what it was. You might see a screen like this. This is uh, Open Faint. It's a program where you can actually play against friends. You can see what their top scores are. You can post your high scores. Um, so it's not something you have to do. And not all apps use this. But if you ever get prompted for this, um, it's up to you if you want to post your scores. If you're not that serious about competition or anything, just hit no thanks. Um, and now it's prompting another thing. This is just ads. These aren't part of the game, so hit no thanks. And now we're actually in Fruit Ninja. I'm not going to play it uh, now, I'm going to go back to the home screen, but basically that's how you download an app, um, and if we go back to apps really quick, you see how now Fruit Ninja is on my um, app, this is my app library right here, okay, uh, this is everything that's on the device, okay, now when you start downloading a lot of apps, you may want to separate them by title or by recent, or you can use this little search um, icon that I just hit to type in the app so you can find it easy. 
because if you have a lot of apps, trust me, it won't be easy to find everything. So that's how you download apps in a nutshell. Um, I'll probably post some videos later on how to like find like cool free apps and stuff, but that's the basic premise on how you get apps on your Kindle Fire. Hope that was helpful, and have a good one.